If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, uh, so today we have a new evolution to check out. If I take a lot of breaks in between uh, this video, I am still a little bit sick, so I have to take like breaks in between talking and stuff. But um, yeah, today's a pretty good evolution. I don't know if it's a paid one. I have to check actually because it's like an icon one. But there's a few icon cards. That if you've completed their SBCs, the improvements on them are pretty good, right? So this one is a legendary status evolution, but they do give very, very nice play styles, to be fair, right? Especially if you give it to the right players. Um, the stat increase and the play styles is a regular acrobatic. Uh, you get a pinked pass and you also get tiki taka plus trivella plus and aerial plus so a lot of very good stuff to to work with for the most part a lot of uh very good improvements as a paid evolution it kind of still makes sense to actually utilize some of these play styles because there's a few cards here that are going to be really really crazy to look into right and i think that the main one is 100 going to be ronaldinho's card now the reason being for this is because if you guys watched the review for this card when we checked them out during that time period, this card was still usable, right? Um, R9, very similar situation. Like I use R9 right now because like he's unique, right? Like he has like a medium, medium work rate and I couldn't care less about it. Like he has great attacking AI, all that kind of stuff, right? So being able to drop evolutions for cards like this that were still pretty decent to use and now you put an evolution on top of them to be even better is really sick, right? Because all of these play styles would make a lot of sense for Ronaldinho, right? So Trivella Plus, of course, right? Aerial Plus would be a huge W because he's a taller player at 5'11", right? So he's not like a 5'9", 5'8", type. You know, if you decide to use a card like this in the actual side positions and you cross the ball, he could potentially win those opportunities, right? Because this card, you could maybe, you know, give a Hawk chemistry style too. You have the pace, you have the shooting, you have the physical capabilities, and now you have an aerial plus to work with the fact that he has jumping stats as well. So that would be an incredibly helpful thing to work with. And then honestly, like even Tiki Taka plus is a really cool play style for just general build up play as well. So Ronaldinho definitely gonna be probably the most clear and obvious choice especially for people that did end up completing um the sbc during that time period uh because now you can obviously improve the card next up we have is a Zebu's card so obviously with this card um he was an absolute beast to work with for the most part right um a Zebu was a type of player where the first thing that i mentioned to people was that he was significantly significantly better in this year's game than he has been in the past right in the past i was never really that fond of the card and you guys know i'm portuguese i love my portuguese players but i didn't really like the card in the uh, back of the day like there was cards that i used to review from a zebu that were like 12 million coins 11 million coins and i just didn't really like the card right this year very different i think the card performs very well in game um i think with the play style pluses that you end up giving him as well it could also be a very helpful situation with him too right like so with aerial plus if you decide to use this card in like the side areas like let's say for instance you were to use him as like a left striker or a right striker in a 442 or you're using him um you know as a left forward right forward in a 4321 like that sort of deal i feel like would be perfectly fine for a zebu's card right all the play style pluses would be a huge w for this card as well tiki taka plus uh, aerial plus he's still working with an 89 for jumping with an 86 for heading accuracy so he could still win those opportunities because it's always about like it's not even necessarily about the heading for scoring it's the heading for passing the ball back that works out the best right so uh with a zebu obviously looks like a pretty solid choice especially for people that ended up keeping the card for such a long period of time uh do i think that ronaldinho is probably going to be the clear and obvious choice for this one probably i think the the fact that he's working with a little bit more height um is helpful right this card's five foot nine you know Ronaldinho's 511 Ronaldinho has his body type too that actually allows him to win some engagements in the air as well which I think is a, a very very big deal right Johan Cruyff is another option you could potentially go with if you did end up packing his base card as well um I don't remember using Cruyff this year I'm pretty sure that I have on three or four different occasions probably but I just don't remember right but 
another very similar situation to Ronaldinho's card where the play styles they make sense for this card too right because Trivella plus obviously five star five star it's already a, a big W but Ariel plus for a card like this would be helpful because he's a taller player but he does lack in the jumping department right but the Ariel plus would kind of boost him a little bit more in that area to be able to win those uh sort of situations whenever given the opportunity I don't know what this card's balance is like in game, right? On an engine chemistry style, I do feel like certain parts of the card could potentially be on the lower side, but I'm not exactly too sure because I never use this card on a consistent basis for me to like really say, but I think from the choices here, unless you have like the higher rated options, I probably wouldn't go down that route, right? Like I, like I said, I think Ronaldinho is definitely going to be um, the clear and obvious choice for this evolution. Zico is another one that I can actually be, <laughs> excuse me, told you guys not to take breaks sometimes, right? Zico is another card that, in my opinion, would be a pretty good selection as well. Uh, what a lot of people actually ended up doing with this card, believe it or not, is they just loved using him as the attacking oriented center mid. And now, with the way that this card is formatted, it's even better for that specific play style. But, you know, a card like this, honestly, you can use him in the side positions as well uh left attacking mid right attacking mid sort of areas and i feel like he would still do a decent job i'm not gonna lie to you guys i actually seen some people when they ended up using this card i seen them using him on i think it was like a guardian or something bro like a defensive boost with a dribbling boost because in the midfield setup like he would actually do well defensively from time to time during that time period which is interesting because it's not the way that i would have personally used him during that time period but the card was still one of those types of players that would perform really well right now obviously with this card it would depend on how you end up using him in your team because i don't know if you're using him as like one of the center mids because if it's a center mid you know on an engine he would be fine because of the dribbling boost but then the pace is on the lower side if you decide to use him in the main attacking positions up top so at that point you know you'd probably give him like a hunter to increase the pace to increase the shooting but then you would just work with the dribbling being on the lower side for a card that does not have a press proven or uh, a trickster plus right those things would have definitely added to the card in regards to like the left stick dribbling responsiveness but yeah the play styles again not bad on the card he is a five star five star player that is now given a tiki taka plus and a trivella plus and in some situations an aerial could be helpful too especially if someone goes for like a goal kick or you know someone wins the ball in the air from a lob pass or something and you have the aerial plus to be able to win that but again from the clear and obvious choices ronaldinho will be the top choice for sure right uh, let's see what else we have here. Garincha. So Garincha gets an upgrade as well. Again, I think the I think the upgrades for this car would definitely be nice. The Aerial Plus, again, not as relevant for him uh, because he's a 5'7 player, but it would be helpful, right? Because it's a situation where it's like, hey, if I do cross the ball and he does get into a heading situation, it's not impossible for him to be able to jump now, right? I think Aerial Plus, even in the side positions, because for me, I would definitely use this card more as... Um, a right-sided player so right wing right attacking mid right mid that sort of deal with this card it's very important to mention that in my opinion aerial plus for the side positions especially like there's so many situations where you are literally crossing the ball from one side of the pitch to the other and being able to win the ball off of a header because your player has an aerial plus I feel like would be a very very helpful thing right so again if you went down this direction i wouldn't be opposed to it i think on a hunter chemistry style um the card would still be decently formatted even like a hawk right because the pace is not specifically maximized and you give them the extra physical stuff if you want right but yeah this one remains to be a five star four star player the play style plus is obviously a huge helpful thing to give to him but again not as uh, clear and obvious as the ronaldinho card for sure Yashin, a fantastic center back, but I would hold off on doing um I would hold off on doing this as an evolution card, right? The playstyle pluses don't make a lot of sense for him, but if he does get an evolution at some point in the future, which he probably could because it's a defender one, um, I think it's definitely gonna be worth looking into him for that evolution if it does come out, because this card actually performs really well in game, and defensive playstyle pluses would be a huge plus. But these ones are more for like I would say like side position players, main attacking positions up top, that sort of deal, right? So four, three, two, one kind of formation, I think will make sense for these left forward, right forward type of players, right? Um, so yeah, we'll ignore those ones for the most part. I kind of want to see like some clear and obvious ones. Uh, there's some here that would definitely be very, very interesting cards. For instance, 
Rude Hullets, right? This version <clears throat> is the SPC car that a lot of people had, and all of the playstyle pluses would be incredibly helpful for him, 100%, right? Uh, the stat improvements are definitely a welcome improvement on the card. Um, I, th I think that maybe it would be best to still wait for something in the future that gives him more defensive playstyles, because if there's you know, a midfielder evolution that gives him like intercept plus and that kind of stuff. I think that would definitely be really, really nice because a press proven with dribbling stats being increased over time is definitely a W because it makes the cards feel more responsive in game in that general midfield position. But yeah, this has always been the type of card that you give, you know, a shadow to you boost the pace, you boost the defending. Maybe at some point in the future, you can give like an anchor and they give like a physical boost to make him a lengthy depending on how they format it but um, obviously you can't do that right now so that's not really a relevant thing to do right okay moving on with uh some other cards here uh Zinedine Zidane gets an improvement as well honestly not too bad here the Zidane is a very the one thing I have to mention with this card right is that Zidane is a very very 50 50 card for people and that's why you should probably avoid him right because 50 50 cards like this they're just uh, like they're formatted strangely right because uh with the dan you know you can go down the route of giving him a hunter chemistry style and then use him specifically as your attacking oriented center mid and basically go from there the play style pluses do make a lot of sense for him because he is a taller player um at six foot one right so aerial to work with the height would be helpful considering his jumping <laughs> excuse me um, is quite low, right? You could even give him a hawk to keep him on a lengthy to make sure his jumping is higher, right? But hard to see people going in that direction for sure. Um, you have the other Hullet version here that is not the press proven version, but if you pack this one, which is the Centurion version, went up 640k. Um, again, for a card like this, it would make sense to um to improve him if you actually got your hands on him. You know what this kind of looks like? It looks like a pretty good physical type attacker for the most part. Yeah. It looks like a physical type attacker. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, one of two strikers, you could probably work with him like a lot, actually. Because you would give him a Hawk. He's a mostly lengthy player who has more jumping, has actual defensive stats. Shooting is improved, pace is improved on a mostly lengthy, right? And then he has the five star, five star, but now you've given him aerial plus instead of a regular aerial. Trivella plus power, so power header plus with an aerial plus, right? So not even joking, like one of two strikers could actually be okay with him up, up top as a uh, physical type attacker if you're okay with working with a dribbling, because I don't think this card has press proven either, nor does he have a, trick, a trickster plus. But yeah, it looks like an interesting one for sure. Thierry Henry wouldn't be against this one either if you are a fan of this card and you don't obviously have like the newer rated versions. There's this one that I think I guess came out today. Um, but the Evolution version, uh, again, these playstyle pluses, it makes more sense for these types of cards, right? Because the playstyle pluses make more sense. On a Hawk chemistry style, he is a taller player at six foot two. If you gave him a jumping boost, obviously you would work with that a little bit more. Uh, Trivella Plus, Rapid Plus would also be really nice because a Rapid Plus, considering the fact that, um, you know, Thierry Henry actually does a pretty decent job at running is not necessarily bad. But, you know, you look at all these options here and honestly, like I'll tell you guys this straight up, like a lot of them really don't touch the main dudes that will be able to utilize the Aerial Plus more. The only reason why people are putting a Zebu here is because Zebu is actually a very solid player and he was an SBC. So some people still have that card in their squads. Uh, Kafu gets an evolution i'm gonna be real with you guys i actually would not be against this i think he's gonna get a new spc soon to be fair and if that spc drops it's gonna probably it's most likely gonna be a must do spc i'm gonna be real with you because kafu's um the most recent card whichever card that one was was still very good to use and obviously a new version would be kind of crazy um this one honestly aerial plus for those far post crosses considering how small he is would still be helpful right um so food for thought there i'm not sure what the sbc will be like but again probably wouldn't waste the the 100k on him i want to see if there's like any other ones here that i feel like i'm i'm like i'm kind of with you know um which one is this one? Oh, the future star is rooney nah bobby charlton 
from the base. Um, Power Shot Plus, Trivella Plus, Aerial Plus, Tiki Taka is a five star, five star. That's not too bad either. This is the one that they're actually showing in the game as well. Um, probably give him a Hawk, I would say, right? To improve his pace and his shooting to be as perfect as possible, as well as the physical. I'm not completely against this one. I don't know if his dribbling will be that crazy to work with at this point in the game. Um, because I tried this card. This card was like a decent card to use during that time period. But Bobby Charlton's missing something to be like a really special card, right? Uh, Jarzingo, who is not as good this year as he was in previous years. Previous years, he was definitely better. But the playstyle pluses are pretty helpful for him, right? So again, very similar situation to some of the other cards that we already checked out. If you give a card like this a Hawk and you improve the jumping, you have an aerial plus player that if you are playing in the right sided area, like right wing, right attacking mid, all that sort of you know deals, uh, you can utilize the aerial plus a little bit more. In his case, he actually has heading accuracy. So even though he's a smaller player, he would be able to utilize that stuff more and again if you're doing like the switch from one side of the field to another the aerial plus is helpful for you to win that ball in the air and pass it back to somebody else so that's a very very underrated thing to talk about so this one actually doesn't look that bad the stat improvements are nice so on and so forth um is that the no this is the most recent one yeah so kafu has like different variations even has this one that has relentless plus yeah Kafu is usually a pretty nice card, but like I said, I think he's going to get an SPC soon. So that's an interesting one. Um, Raul getting one is not bad. If you like to use Raul like base mechanics wise, I would say. Um, this card a little strangely formatted. I mean, you could go in the direction of giving him a catalyst. Shooting is already at a 99. Uh, catalyst would be this one here. For the passing boost as well as the pace boost. No trickster plus, no press proven. So yeah, I mean, if you like Raul, you can go down that route. I wouldn't waste it on him, to be fair. And Bastion, I mean, te technically speaking, you could go that route. You definitely could. Kaka gets one as well. Is that his best version that gets one? Is it this one too? Yeah, and then this one too? No, just the other one. Uh, Kaka's not really like, he's not like a, oh my goodness, like I need this card type of deal, right? He's still formatted for a finisher. That's the issue here. Still formatted for a finisher and still lacking in certain areas. Yeah, this is a very clear and obvious like top three, but mainly Ronaldinho type of evolution, honestly. Kenny Dalgleish, five star, five star. <coughs> Honestly, if you pack this card, this is not that bad. Can I tell you guys something right now, though? Because I've used this card quite a bit. I'm going to mention, like, guys, you guys know how I always talk about, like, you know, in the past, it used to be it used to be the sniper chemistry style. Then it became the, the finisher chemistry style. Then it became the engine chemistry style. Now, especially after that big patch that EA dropped like months and months ago, it's all about press proven, bro. Because I'm telling you guys this right now, I've used this card right here. And when they have that play style, it makes such a big deal. This card, not even having that, like, like for me, I, in my brain, like, because this game is so meta now, I'm already ignoring it. You know what I'm saying? And I get it, because, like, those cards are, like, really expensive. You have to go get them, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just telling you, man, that for me, it's just um, how it kind of feels. Guys, listen, there's a lot of options here. A lot of options here. But they just don't make sense in comparison to Ronaldinho. Even Del Piero gets one. Dang, and this card's still poorly formatted. Look at this. You have to give him an engine, and he's still locking in certain areas. Insane. <laughs> Pretty sure that was an SBC card, too. Yeah, 585. A decent card, but that price was way too much. Way too much. Um... But yeah, long story short, Ronaldinho, definitely the most clear and obvious choice, I think, for the meta of the game nowadays. He's definitely going to cook. Ezebu for sure will cook as well, especially for people that still have that SPC. Zico, I think, will definitely be really nice. Yashin would be cool, but those playstyle pluses are a waste for him. I think it makes sense to give some other things. But yeah, the top choices definitely make the most sense for these cards. Like they, they'll, they'll definitely be able to cook in the uh, current meta of the game. There's this Kaka too. 
Listen, you can improve Kaka if you want, but this card, like he does. The, did any of them ever get press proven? Because he needs it. Yeah, he needs it. Like these physical dudes, like th they need it, man. In my opinion, there's even like Torres and stuff too that get the improvement. There's a new Torres card that came out today as well. Play styles make more sense for that, but yeah, if you still have the Ronaldinho card or you still have the Azebu card, those would be like the main ones. I think. I think the. The change with the Zebu to make him 5-star, five 5-star, five very big deal. And then obviously with Ronaldinho, 5-star, 4-star still, sure, but he's still very nice to use. I like his base mechanic stuff. It's actually like very, very solid. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.